welcome back to Piers Morgan on the Censor. Barbie has long been criticised by feminists as a symbol of unattainable princess-like perfection. The iconic metal doll is now the inspiration for a Hollywood movie, one of the most anticipated of the entire year, capping Barbie's evolution from symbol of the patriarchy to feminist icon. Barbie, small and so petite. Barbie has smart new styles for every occasion. For dates with Ken, club meetings, tennis. Me at the mall. Cool. What are you gonna say next? Listen. Do you have a crush on anyone? <laughs> Anybody know how big the brain is? Sophia, it is medium. Medium. What's going on? Why are these men looking at me? Yeah, they're also staring at me. <laughs> so fantastic plastic feminist icon or sexist claptrap. With the movie's outrageously dismissive tagline, she is everything, he is just Ken. Has Barbie actually done a full 180? Is she now anti, not just Ken, but men? Well, I'm joined by Talk TV uh, contributor Esther Cracker and also by Talk TV presenter Rosanna Lockwood. And also, drum roll, <laughs> back from the world's longest holiday, bye! Grace Blakely, our socialist commentator. I love calling you that. Welcome back. <laughs> I love you come you called that. Welcome back. We've almost missed you. I have missed you very much as well, obviously. Don't Thank lie. you for having uh, me. And you're wearing your Barbie outfit. I have apparently been told. And you've gone blonde like since I last saw you. You, you. you did this on purpose. I mean, I you can't say that I did. Me. You actually now are. You're now, <laughs> yeah. you are now honestly, Barbie. You, you did this to seduce that me. That is a massive compliment, honestly. <laughs> if I look anything like Margot Robbie, I will take that. <laughs> so, look, let's start with, with you then on this, given you've come dressed as Barbie. <laughs> so, there are a number of Barbie characters in the movie. Right, one plays President Barbie, one plays Dr Barbie, one plays a Barbie with a Nobel Prize in physics, one is a mermaid Barbie. However, all the male characters in Barbie world are simply called Ken. <laughs> so it's pretty clear where this movie is going. This is an assault on not just Ken, but all men. I mean, I think men in general will have to be a bit kind of snowflakey to suggest they're being assaulted by a Barbie movie. But I kind of think that's besides the point. I mean, I think, you know, the, the questions that we have around this one, whether or not Barbie is a feminist icon... Is she? Actually, well, I think it matters less than the fact that the Barbie franchise has commercialised the feminist critique. So now you can be like, oh, you can feel like a good feminist because you buy a doll for twenty five ninety nine, mm. or you can feel like a hashtag girl boss because mm. Barbie has a Nobel Prize or Barbie's an entrepreneur. Whereas actually, feminism is rooted in the struggles of ordinary women. It's about the fact that, you know, women often get paid less. It's about the fact that women um, are on the front line of some of the hardest sectors to work in, in, in care, in, uh, in, um, in our healthcare system, in social care. It's about the fact that they do so much unpaid labour in the household. How many female household. bricklayers That's do you know? I mean, well, female bin cleaner. Great I mean, question. What are, you, I love, what are you talking I love about? Great question. I love, Have you ever met a female bricklayer? I don't know. No, you haven't. But I because love the exist. assumption that being that a bricklayer up. is harder than like caring for the terminally ill and dying. Have you like, ever been a bricklayer are, in the winter? But like, have you ever been someone that's not terminally ill and dying? Yes, yes, I actually have. Yes, like, I have. It's obviously yes, a have. very, very challenging job, isn't it? And, and it's like, not as hard as being a bricklayer. But in what sense? What does that even mean? Excuse me, you asked me if I've done it before. Oh, I've missed this. Are we uh, talking about I have done whether it or not it's physically challenging, emotionally challenging? I mean, there are care workers who are running up and down between houses getting paid less than minimum wage. No, I get that, but you, you, don't, know, you don't make a fortune as a bricklayer either, and you're out in, in the elements. I just don't understand Do why you know we're like, launching these I'm professions campaign. against each other. It's a bizarre culture. Let me try and get one single word in here. Uh, so, Rosanna, look, mm. Barbie's jobs include being an astronaut, a surgeon, Olympic athlete, Downhill skier, aerobics instructor, TV <laughs> news reporter, vet, rock star, doctor, army officer, air force pilot, summit diplomat, rap musician, presidential candidate, baseball player, scuba diver, lifeguard, firefighter, engineer, dentist, and many more. Mm. I mean, she's not a bad feminist icon. She's, she's done a, everything. She's had over 200 careers, apparently, since she was first <laughs> conceived. But you know Is what? she a feminist icon? Look, when you said unattainable princess, perfect like mm. perfection, this is what you were thinking of. These three women here. It's who true. I think all three of us probably... Perfectly imperfect. <laughs> <laughs> Can we settle on that? Uh, we, well, uh, perfectly perfect. we probably all played with Barbie's going up. I'm going to guess that. But given Barbie's enormous reach now, given how many different Barbie dolls are around, you can almost have a Barbie doll for any type, whatever. Mm. 
Is she legitimately a feminist icon? No, I don't think she is, but there are other toys available if does you don't like her. Be? Why she does, why does Barbie be. need to be a feminist icon? Why can't girls just play with pretty dolls? I, I mean, don't why, think why that she should be a feminist icon. Young girls icon. don't I don't even understand that, anything to do with feminism. I don't They're think just that children. feminism should be co-opted by massive multinational corporations. Well, well that's that fine, but I don't think young girls even need to learn about feminism. But, Grace, what about if it's shaping the way young girls are growing up? That's what well, I mean, I think this is the problem people have with feminism. This is why we end up having all these debates about, like, oh, you know, um, feminism doesn't account for the struggles of ordinary people and it's just, like, very rich and wealthy women at the top of companies saying, I want more money. It's because feminism, which is actually a critique of capitalism, in part, has been taken over by big multinational corporations who basically say, look, we have three women on our board, so the gender struggle is over. And it's just, this is a, a symptom of a wider problem. All right, you mentioned gender. The Bank of England says anyone can get pregnant of any gender identity. Uh, they've offered to help pay, uh, help staff to pay for gender reassignment treatment, including... Now, this has all been going on in your absence. Ad nauseum, some might think, this whole gender debate. But this concept that anyone of any gender identity can become pregnant is obviously ludicrous. I mean, I'm going to start before even opening up into this discussion, talking about, yes, I've been away for nine months and I've come back and watched how our entire political debate has become dominated by this tiny, tiny fringe issue. We have this massive moral panic over an issue that affects so few people. It's not a fringe while issue. the climate is literally, like, the earth no, is... No, you can care about, you can care about the point, climate and you while can While there's also... a massive cost of living crisis going hang on. on. I was honestly... Just shocked that okay. this is what we're. You can about. care about the climate, and you can also care about the full frontal attack on the integrity of women's sport because of transgender athletes. You can care about men rapists being put into female prisons. That cost Nicola Sturgeon her job, by the way. You can care about all those issues too. And, and yet, I would have thought you would have come back about. and gone. You know what? I've seen the light, Piers. You're right about this. And stuff. yet, this well, is I what mean, we're talking I think, about. I think there is a reason that way. we are talking about this issue rather than the Bank of England just raised interest rates. That's going to mean that millions of families are not going to be able to repay their debt, repay their loans. They're going to be pushed into poverty. And here we are talking about some, you know, well, absurd I, I think, thing about I think, whether you, I think you've just hit the nail on the head because shouldn't the Bank of England be more concerned with bringing down inflation rates than, you know, offering their... But, yes! Well, I'm, sure, sure, to be honest, I'm sure this was just some sort of random thing that was... No, it's not random. Hang on. Random, but Our economics expert. If you look at the crux of the issue, this was actually probably a freedom of information request. Stonewall, the Bank of England applied to Stonewall to say, we want to be in your top 100 list of diversity and inclusion sort of index thing. This was last year they made this application. The information has only been revealed now, and I would say that that is the Telegraph and the other papers mm. capitalising on the argument that the Bank of England has, has lax monetary policy, and they're trying to make the argument that they've been too focused on diversity. That it's and playing up to cultural but let's be clear, look, and you the can woke have, brigade. Yeah, but look, you can have, well, you can have 120,000 genders, as many as you like. Only women can get pregnant. But like, I mean, that's just a, a biological fact. Only women get pregnant. People you can have as many gender debates as you want. You can feel like a mouse, for all I care. Only but you can't you actually pretend anyone but other women. than a biological female can have a baby. Yeah, sure. Only people who are born women can get pregnant. You accept People that. who are born women can also become men. Not become, become, no, become identify as anything they can't become become men. can also legitimately become mothers. No, they can't that become, all the time. They can't can become, become men. They can. Right. No, men, biological men are biological men. Yeah, I mean, if they you are born trans, women, you can become they can a be trans a, man. They can be a trans man. Let's so yeah. on that. Why, why do we have to change it? I mean, I agree. I made this point to you, like, a years ago, and I thought we kind of settled it. You know, you have cis women and trans women and cis men and trans men. We don't have to get all up in arms about all this stuff. It just doesn't matter that much. So, I'm so glad you do still get up in arms about this. <laughs> I've really missed this. Uh, Esther, I mean... I agree with you. The Bank of England, get on with fixing yeah. the I economic mean, crisis. It's the optics of this that's even more frustrating because you don't want a news story of the Bank of England, you know, paying for their employees' gender transitioning when they're clearly bigger issues at hand here. Um, but I, I think it's just this, this obsession with companies that feel like they have to, you know, talk about these issues all the time. I'm just happy for a business to function as a business. I don't right. need to know their stance on gender identity or anything like that. Shockingly, Shockingly I actually agree. <laughs> well, that's in itself a shocking moment. Do any of you have a view about Johnny Bester and the way he was out at Lord's? Uh, no, I saw this. Right. My dad showed me... This was the clip where What did your he... dad say? My dad said that, uh, that it was Keep perhaps it slightly unfair... Mm -hmm to have knocked him out and that there should have been... Um, what did he say? That it should have been reviewed or something and that mm -hmm. ordinarily that that's what would have happened because uh, there was some your precedent dad, Your dad's it. right. OK. No idea. No view? No, no view. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> less, less uh, 
Sarah. Brilliant Let's... pack today. It's great to have you back. <laughs> Lovely Grace. to see you back. Really. I nearly almost enjoyed that segment. It's been great. <laughs> I really missed you.